Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. We are going to build a dummy data API. For that we are going to create an Express.js server and we are going to deploy it on Heroku.com. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and enjoy the video. Alright, so in order to create a node application we need to make sure that we have node installed. For that type node dash dash version into your terminal and if you get a uh, version returned you have node installed. If not, go to node.js.org and install it or download it right here from their website. Okay, since I already have node installed, I can go ahead and create a new directory called, let's name it domes API. And inside of it, let's init a new npm application, so called npm init y. This will create the package JSON file and set our main file to index.js. Okay. Now we can add the express framework by calling npm install express dash dash save. So this will install all the packages that we are going to need. And now we are ready to open up our text editor. Okay, here in our text editor, we see the node modules directory and also our package JSON. So what we need to do now is to create the index.js file. So this will be our server. So right at the top, let's require express. Okay, and now to create our server we need to yeah, let's name it app call the express function so this is our express server now we need to call the app dot listen function to actually run the server and here we need to pass a port as well as yeah we can pass a callback function so for 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 the port let's go ahead and say process dot env port if we have a env variable or simply say 3000 and as a callback function let's just call console log and say server is running all right now we could uh, or now we can start our server so inside of a terminal uh, we say node and followed by our server file, which is index.js. And if we run this, we can see our callback function is a login, server is running to the terminal. Now, when we go to the browser, we won't be seeing anything because we are not returning anything, okay? We are not, uh, yeah, there's no response. So let's change that here in our yeah, in our application, in our server, call the app.get function, which creates a new route, get route, on slash. So this will be the index of our website. And as a second parameter, and as a second param, we get the request and the response objects. All right, and here inside, we can actually call the response object and send yeah, send response. So we can say API is running, for example. Okay, when you save that, we need to restart our server to make the changes uh, yeah, effect. Now let's start it again. And inside of the browser, we can reload the page, which is now yeah, showing our response. So this works perfect. Now we are, yeah, what we want to achieve is to response a dummy JSON object. For that, let's go to json-creator.com, which is an awesome tool to create dummy yeah, JSON objects. Here you can play around and yeah, change the, the attributes and the amount of everything. So you can simply go ahead and play around with that. Click on generate which yeah, every time you click on generate, it actually changes the, the data. 
So let's go ahead and copy the whole thing. And here in our application, let's create a new file, which is called posts. Okay. And here we need to say module exports. And then simply pass the whole JSON object. Back in our index.js, we can require that. Say const posts is require dot slash posts. All right, and now to yeah actually return the, the this object in our browser, we can go ahead and create a new route. So call app dot get, and the path will be slash posts, and again we create the callback function, which retrieves the request as well as the response. And here we now don't say res.send, but res.json, okay, since we want to respond a JSON file. And now we can simply paste, paste our posts object. Save that. Now restart the server again. And back in our browser, when we now visit slash posts, to get our JSON object. All right. And now we can go ahead and deploy it on Heroku, Heroku. But actually, before we can do that, we need to create a new GitHub repository. Okay. So let me do that. Let's name it DOMS API. Let's copy the original. Here, yeah. shut down the server. Let's say JIT init. Let's add the origin. Add all our files. Add a yeah, commit message. and then push it to our main branch. Back on GitHub, let's reload the page. We see all our files are here. Okay, and now we are ready to go to Heroku. Here you need to create a new account. And yeah, I already have one, so I can simply log in. So now we are going to create our Heroku application. So on this apps dashboard, click on new and create new app. You have to give it a name, a unique name. So I will call it DOMS API and create an app, uh, create. All right, we will be redirected to, we will be redirected to the deploy tab here. And down here you can see there are several uh, deployment methods. We are going to choose the GitHub one. So for that, we need to connect our GitHub account. And once this is done, we are ready to choose from our repositories. So I will choose here DOMS API and click on search. And once it is found, we can click on connect. All right. And now we can set uh, some settings like automatic deployment. So every time you push to your main branch or to any other branch, you can set automatically deploy. So your app will be updated. So before we start that, I forgot one thing. So in order to um, tell Heroku which command uh, it needs to, to, uh, to make our app running, we need to add a proc file. Okay, so here in our application, open your terminal and type echo uh, web node and the file where our node application uh, will be started. So index.js and let's put it all in our proc file. Okay, when you click uh, on enter, you see that the proc file is uh, created and it contains the, the command which is needed to, to
to start our server. All right. Now let's add this proc file to our GitHub repository. Say add proc file as commit message. And then simply push it to our repo. Right, let's make sure it is there so we can see it here. And now back on Heroku, let's enable automatic deploys. And last step is to deploy uh, the main branch to our application. So click on deploy branch. This will start the deployment process. So this takes some seconds or minutes. And once it is done, you get this message down here. Your app was successfully deployed. And now you can click on view and your application is open. And here we already can see that the API is running, All right? So this is our application's URL. And now when we go to slash posts, we should be able to see our JSON object. And that's it. That's how you can create a dummy API and deploy it on Heroku. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe or to hit the like button. And I hope to see you in the next video.